in a world waiting to be explored, where adventure calls with every pedal stroke, I find freedom. This is a journey by myself, a bikepacking trip solo. Good morning, start of the bikepacking trip here in Amsterdam, taking the train to Groningen and from there start the journey towards Denmark following the Eurovelo 12. Excited, first solo bikepacking trip, so let's see how it goes. Wish me luck and after that it will be the UCI Gravel World Series, my first gravel race, so a lot of first times in this trip. This is a three-day journey from Groningen, Netherlands to Blavan, Denmark, 600 kilometers following the Eurovelo 12. So if you wonder how to carry your bike on the train here in the Netherlands, they allow you to carry your bike on the train, but you have to make sure you get a bike ticket for your bike. Made it to Groningen, second time in a week. I was here on Sunday for the 600 kilometers brevet and today I start my bikepacking trip here. I'm planning around 600 kilometers following the Eurovelo 12 by myself. It's gonna be a challenge and today it will be around 187 kilometers hoping to get to Germany today. But it's gonna get late, so let's start. Definitely a bit chillier than expected and there's a dark cloud but here we go towards Germany let's see how it goes the wind is kind of from the side so let's see let's make it out of Groningen and then into the nice cycle paths so first stop to get the puffy jacket out and the ray jacket out at the Busset, just in case I want to do some shopping, the weather is changing, so there is some drops. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> it's like warm, cold, rain or rain. Let's see. First stop. Really nice path by the canal. So far, straightforward and uh, making progress the wind is kind of from the back sometimes so that's really nice and sometimes from the side here we go next stop the ferry so apparently now in germany cross the border on a cycle lane I think so this is Germany now I'm gonna spend uh, I think today and tomorrow in Germany so let's see how it goes this is definitely a deja vu of Rattan I was like this gate reminds me to the cheap gate. And those were the sheep. Wind, sheep and gates. Here we go again. Now in Germany, in a really nice town, I think it's called Leer. Let's see how the rest of the trip goes. Um, like uh, something like 70 kilometers in. So far, so good. Quick break at nature. <laughs> so, time for the usual gas station break. Let's see if we can get some Haribo. As we are in Germany, ooh, Haribo. Lecker. <laughs> no, let's see, let's see. I will go for this one. So, successfully resupply 
some uh, German Haribo. I like it here because they have different varieties. I got golden berry, salt, and some vampires. Those are really nice. Let's see, uh, 20k for the ferry to go. Here you have some of the Eurobello signs, so you can follow the signs. And uh, it's quite easy, but sometimes there's roads that are closed, so I just got lost, but found the way again. That's good. Here it reminds me to the dikes of the Netherlands. Pretty similar landscape. Let's see. On the way to the ferry, I thought it was earlier, but no. <laughs> Luckily I got some Haribo and resupply. Bike packing solo. But my friends are always there, huh? I don't know how. <laughs> I'm gonna start counting sheep. One, two, three. I don't know. Oof, I'm falling asleep. <laughs> so we are here, first ferry of the trip. I didn't know about this ferry and then I was like, oh my God and managed to make it so it departs at 7.40 let's see how I can pay it and then uh, yeah crossing to the other side and hopefully make it into the hotel I really had to push it and didn't have time to go to a supermarket or anything there's not much around but uh, yeah hopefully I can make it to the other side and to the hotel let's see we are now in Blexen after let's see 172 kilometers <laughs> it's been uh, quite quite a rush to make it here to the ferry <laughs> so better to plan things in advance <laughs> not to have surprises so made it on the ferry at least that's a good start. <laughs> Let's see who will be happy when I'm on the other side. Second gas station of the trip, shopping for the night. Time to put it in the musette. Let's see. That's dinner. Now putting it in on the musette and keep on riding. So now in Bremenhaven, made the shopping for the night and uh, heading to the hotel. Good morning, day two here in Germany, slept well in the hotel, managed to make it and now seems to be a nice day, good weather so far. Nice landscape, let's see how the rest of the route plans out, planning to do around 200 kilometers today but I have a ferry, another ferry to take, so let's see how it goes. So now by the dike, it reminds me a lot to the Netherlands, just long flat stretches. First supermarket break of the day, having had breakfast so managed to find a supermarket bakery. So. Let's see what I can find for breakfast.
heading towards Finchham, I think, to the port to catch the ferry. So far, there are cars here that are a bit aggressive towards cyclists. So second ferry of the day, so they allow you to go with the bike and uh, I think this should be the last ferry of the trip. Hopefully no surprise ferries from Winschhafen uh, to Gluckstadt. Nice that I made it on time and during today, better than yesterday. The, uh, the previous ferry I didn't have to pay for it, but this one I had to pay uh, 2 euros, but they take credit cards, so that's a good thing, you don't need cash. So, made it out of the ferry to the other side and of course, <laughs> more cheap, <laughs> more, cheap uh, no? more cheap and like. <laughs> Gates and dikes. Bikepacking solo, but uh, my friends are there. Tell me, how was your day, my friend? <laughs> uh, you don't speak with many people. At least you have the chief to talk with. another ferry, unexpected one. I was like, eh, there is a bridge? There's no bridge? Okay, so where do I go? And landed on a ferry that's still here, so good news. <laughs> Got lucky twice. Making progress at the river or canal either. Here we go, day three, hope to arrive to Denmark today. Let's go! We are in a nature reserve, like a dike, a lot of cheap birds, it's quite nice, it's quite nice but uh, windy. So time for a bakery break, chocolate croissant, <laughs> good for energy. Yeah. Made it to Denmark, yay! Making progress, ah, it's always nice when you change country. I don't know, there's something exciting about it. And the cycle lanes got way better. <laughs> so in this bikepacking trip, I'm following the Eurovelo 12. You have the signs here. So you have some signs along the way that tells you you are on the right track. <laughs> 